Hello everyone. Today's video, uh, we're going to see five medallion style pendants. This is a slab of clay. I'm rolling it into a, a slab thickness of 0.6 centimeters. And once the slab is completely rolled, I smoothen this using my fettling knife. This is a round shaped cookie cutter and I cut out five such shapes. You can line the uh, the edges of the cookie cutter with a little bit of oil uh, for the uh, clay to kind of come off easily. So I have five such shapes ready. Each of these are going to now um, be smoothened using my fettling knife. I'm using a little bit of oil over here uh, on the edges just to smoothen it. Obviously I go back to my fettling knife, smoothen the uh, surface. The first design I'm going to be using just my fettling knife. This is obviously a design which I'm pretty sure uh, most of you have uh, seen if you've been following my work. It's one of my uh, favorite designs. Um, you can call it my signature design. It's something that I have uh, worked on probably um, from a very long time. I think this design is rough, um, easily about um, close to about 12 years, maybe maybe even more. 12 years ago, probably I, I worked on this design for the first time. So, like I said, I'm going to be using just my fettling knife. Um, it's a very meditative process. I really enjoy working on this particular design especially. I work all the way uh, till the center and that's it. That's the first design, all done with just a fettling knife. I'm going to be using a gauge 24 nichrome wire U-pin as a hook. There. Moving on to the second design. I'm going to be using concentric uh, circles um, for this. These are again cookie cutters lined with oil. using my fettling knife. I'm making a small um, pretty little flower in the center. You're probably wondering how this is going to turn into a flower and well, just in a couple of seconds you'll see how it does. And there. You see that this is an easy way to um, get this kind of a floral pattern. Once again, using my fettling knife, adding these lines in the second circle. Using an old pen cap, adding a semicircular design along the, um, along the edges, along the sides of the circle. Now these pendants are um, just about one and a half, one and a half inches in diameter. So they're not too big, but they're not too small either. And obviously uh, the same designs can be uh, used on something much larger as well. And they will still continue to look pretty. This is just a small nozzle uh, that I, you can also use a ballpoint pen refill for that. And there. That second design is also ready. Moving on to the third design, my fettling knife. I draw a line in the center. So this particular pendant, um, I'm covering only half of the pendant and leaving the other half empty. This just helps me get equal uh, equidistant lines and that's why I just use that wooden uh, wooden stick, that dowel which was a square shaped dowel. 
is making a second line this is a short rigid blade I'm just pressing it down into the clay um, at a 45 degree angle in order to get this kind of an impression just repeating it in there simple easy and beautiful this is pendant number 3 that's also ready again a gauge 24 micro wire u pin so you have three ready over here moving on to the fourth design again a cookie cutter for concentric circles i'm sorry not concentric circles a semi circle a semi circle find these uh, these set of concentric uh, cookie cutters uh, extremely helpful especially in designing uh, pendants like these using my fettling knife uh, to add lines this is a little nozzle uh, if you don't have something like this you can also use just uh, a ballpoint pen refill in order to get small circular designs such as these this is just again uh, you can use a pen cap or any part of a pen uh, to help you get these semi semicircular um, little designs for all of these pendants if you uh, notice i have not used anything that is Uh, nothing too fancy all simple tools mostly using my fettling knife um, uh, to create most of the designs again this is my fettling knife a ballpoint pen refill and on the alternate triangles um, just dotting it for a different texture personally like this one as well looks nice gauge 24 micro wire u pin goes in and pendant number 4 is also ready so i have four i have one more to go the last one once again my cookie cutters my super handy cookie cutters lining it with a little bit of oil especially the edges uh, just makes it a lot easier it's just a pen cap because i don't have a cookie cutter that is that small I'm using a ballpoint pen refill and just dotting heavily dotting the center So just a short rigid blade uh, you can also just go ahead and use a fettling knife or just a basic knife in order to draw lines in the second circle using the short rigid blade once again in a 45 degree angle pressing it flat down pattern is um repetitive but it just gives out a beautiful beautiful outcome and honestly happens to be one of my favorites i know i have a lot of favorites but this also is just the, the sheer simplicity of the design just um you know and the outcome is just so lovely so that's it the pendant is ready i'm using a gauge 24 micro wire u pin as a hook there all the five pendants are ready 
So you saw how easily uh, I was able to create all of these uh, five designs, mostly using just uh, my fettling knife and a few other additional tools. Um, I leave this to dry for a couple of days and then get this fired in electric in an electric kiln. And after that uh, comes the next process, which is painting them. So I really hope you all enjoyed watching the video. Please do let me know what you think of the video in the comment section. And as always, I'll try and get back to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your time.